Hi there. If you know a little AutoCAD, you can draw this trolley wheel moving in 3D space in under 10 minutes. Let me show you how. Stay tuned to this tutorial. Hello again. My name is George. The drawing was created using AutoCAD. The purpose here is to recreate the solid model of the object shown. I'll erase the solid, then redraw it. The problem is one of many from my book, Mechanical Design Guide. I plan to make more videos and upload them soon. My students at the Technical Institute where I teach have fun with these drawings. When they are available for download, you can draw them too. To begin with, we'll erase the small viewport in the upper right corner containing the solid. Now we'll double click inside the large viewport to gain access to model space. We'll freeze the layer on which all the dimensions are shown. Now we'll make a copy of the section view and move it to the right. You'll notice that I erase the hatch marks and the holes. I'm going to erase even more of the object so that only the top portion of it is shown. Now using AutoCAD's revolve command will revolve th that portion around the axes. The result is that we now have a th wireframe 3D model of the trolley wheel. Our next step will be to extrude the three holes. We want to be able to subtract them from the model. Before extruding the holes, it would be a good idea to move into the southeast isometric view on the drawing. Now we're going to extrude the three holes, oh, th three or four inches. This, the length doesn't matter so long as when we rotate them and move them into the trolley wheel, they will protrude through the other side. The three holes are now extruded and I will use AutoCAD's 3D Rotate command so that I'll be able to move them through the wheel. When you use the new AutoCAD 3D Rotate command, the axis appears a little differently. You'll notice on the screen that there are three ribbons, red, green, and yellow. I mean red, green, and blue. We want to rotate these three extruded holes in the direction of the green, so we'll select the green ribbon. It will turn to yellow, and then we'll type 90, and that will rotate the holes. Now all that remains is for us to select the three extruded holes and move them through the wheel. And it's probably a good idea at this time to use AutoCAD's visual commands and uh, put some shading on the drawing so that we'll get a more realistic view of what's going on. Now you're able to see that the whole extrusions have penetrated the wheel and they can therefore be subtracted. A solid model of the wheel is now complete. However, I want to move back into the top view and we want to thaw the dimension layers so that the dimensions will appear again on the drawing. Now we're going to double click outside the viewport so as to gain access to paper space. We can now create an additional small viewport using AutoCAD's MView command spelled M-V-I-E-W. We will select two points. Then we're going to double click inside the small viewport to gain access to model space. We're going to zoom to, we're going to use, zoom to the uh, southeast isometric view and then zoom in on the object. And so once again we will want to double click outside the viewport to gain access to paper space. 
you will want to remember to keep both viewports on the same layer called viewports because now we want to freeze that layer so that the rectangular viewports will not display. This is the end of the tutorial. However, I'm going to add another clip so that you might become aware of other. For more information regarding the videos on this clip, please check out YouTube or contact me via email. And don't forget to practice making solid models. They're great fun. Thank you for watching.